Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video I'll be teaching you guys all about Obsidian Note, a note taking app that helps sharpen your thinking, as it says so here on their homepage. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So like I said, Obsidian is an all-in-one note taking app that has all the bells and whistles you can ever need out of uh, productivity tools. So it has built in um, checklists, um, writing graphs, um, analyzers, tasks to do for that day and whatnot. And the nice thing about this is um, Obsidian is actually a web-based as well as cloud-based uh, writing application. So anything that you uh, jot down here, like notes or to-dos or tasks for that day, will get saved to the cloud, uh, meaning you won't lose any of your data uh, in the event of your computer getting bricked. So let's actually go over to this page here and read all about what Obsidian is. So Obsidian is a beautiful and versatile app uh, created by uh, Shida Lee and Erika Su, also known as Lycat and Silver, respectively. The Obsidian team set out to build a more modern note-taking app, so that's exactly what it is. One with modern amenities such as uh, version control and syntax highlighting. They also built Obsidian to be local first, super ex ex uh, extensible, and crucially, they designed Obsidian around the idea of linking notes together. So here, you're able to keep notes on a controlled group format where everything is accessible and easy to find. The core ideas behind Obsidian are nothing new. Many of these features have been used by programmers for decades, but Obsidian is one of the first apps to make these ideas easy to use and accessible to everyone. So as far as you can tell, Obsidian is a great, uh, is a great note-taking app, and it's very applicable in situations such as these, as I've highlighted here. So if you feel like your brain is too, fu too full, or if you feel like you're never able to remember um, all the things that you want to remember, like you just can't seem to pinpoint uh, whatever you're trying to think of, uh, if you tried to take notes in the past but they've never stuck, if you like to journal, and, and the like. Now the cool thing about this is that Obsidian is 100% free. However, they do offer a bunch of extra, extra services as said so here. So pre those premium services are called Sync and Publish. So let's talk more about them. Starting with Obsidian Sync. Obsidian Sync allows you to sync your notes between your devices. There are many other ways to accomplish this, but Obsidian uh, Sync is one of the easiest and cleanest. If you have several devices and want to sync your notes between them, this is one of the easiest ways to accomplish this. So this is actually the uh, cloud-based function that, that I was talking about earlier, where you actually get to uh, share your data across different devices by having them saved on the Obsidian Cloud. However, like I said, this is a paid service. So if uh, instead of having it uh, directly saved to your computer, you can actually have it saved on one of their servers, which I think is handy to have anyway. So moving on, let's talk about Obsidian Publish. So Obsidian Publish allows you to easily publish your notes. Publish allows you to publicize your notes and at your own domain name, like Sync. Publish makes it effortless to publish your notes. And if you're looking to create a knowledge base like website, Publish is a great option for it. So this is pretty cool and all. But how do we actually get to using Obsidian? Well, here's how, and it's pretty simple. You want to go to their main website as shown here, obsidian.md. And I actually have it open in the other tab. And to simply download it, there's a big button right here on the home page. So simply click on Get Obsidian for Windows and start taking notes. So the interface actually looks a bit something like this. So there's one for the desktop app as well as the mobile app, as you can see here. And it comes with a run-of-the-mill um, customization settings where you get to change it to dark mode and stuff. So I think that's pretty cool. And it comes with a wide variety of formats for taking notes. So the ones I was talking about earlier are like the checklist, uh, the, the writing graphs, the simple post-it note format, and whatnot. So here are a, here are a couple of um, Obsidian's core features. So there's the links. Here you're able to cre uh, create connections between your notes. So like I said, control groups and link anything and everything. So they could uh, range from ideas, people, places, books, and and beyond so anything you can think of you can also utilize um, obsidian to create your own personal wikipedia as says uh, as said so here graph talks about uh, visualizing the relationship between your notes so you can have it in a sort of diagram form there's actually an example of uh, this right here above uh, here it is so 
if you felt like you were someone who'd be comfortable um reading your notes in uh this format then go for it obsidian has that built-in feature it kind of looks like the solar system that's pretty cool now canvas talks about an infinite space to research brainstorm diagram and lay out your ideas canvas is a limitless playground for your mind so here you get to do things like add notes pictures and connect them to each other a checklist and um, stuff in bullet forms when you want to talk about uh, famous philosophers or artists and some facts about them you can even see here that um, obsidian was used for this wikipedia page right here and as far as plugins go there are a lot of, uh, much like a lot of um, productivity apps obsidian also works uh, collaboratively with other productivity apps like kanban um, Ca uh, google calendar the outliner data view and all the like so yeah that's um obsidian in a nutshell and how you use it so if you guys feel like you've learned something in this video be sure to let us know down in the comment section below and if you guys want to see more videos like these uh you can show your support by subscribing to the channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos so with all that said thank you all for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one Bye bye